So now we have everything laid out for our two inch system. So we can go ahead and start hooking up our air hoses and our electrical connections. So as you can see, all of our air hoses have different connection ends and that's done purposely so they can't get hooked up the wrong way. Here is our vacuum slash our air fitting. This has a small Venturi vacuum on the end. When the fitting is in line with the vacuum, that means it's gonna suck. When it's turned opposite, this is gonna be off vacuum and allow air to go through the system. So before we start connecting these, I wanna make sure this is turned on vacuum. So now that's on vacuum, we can go ahead and start connecting our fittings. So this is our air going in to the, our water separator and then the air line going to our vacuum slash air. So now we can connect this. This is off right now. So now this is going to go into our compressor and we need to have a compressor that at least outputs 70 PSI. So now we're ready to hook up our electrical connectors. So this is actually gonna be our power on and power off. So to turn the power, we just hit the reset to turn it off. So one thing we're gonna check when we get the system connected is that our amp meter is reading between 3.5 and five amps. So there's two ways that we could regulate the air in this system. You can regulate it just right off of your compressor, or you can connect an inline regulator that can go up to at least 70 PSI and regulate it this way. So we already checked the lights. Now we're going to inflate this and check it for leaks. This is what we're gonna do before every patch. So to do that, our regulators are turned all the way down. We're gonna turn our valve to allow air through the system. Or we're gonna slowly increase to about five PSI. So now that we're inflated, we'll go ahead and take some soapy water and spray and inspect for leaks. We're gonna be looking visually, but we're also gonna be listening to see if we hear anything. Now we can just wipe it clean. So we inspected for leaks. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn our vacuum back on to allow this to suck down. And now we're ready to prepare our patch. So while this is under vacuum, we're gonna go ahead and protect it using our green wrap. And when we go to do our overlap, I'm going approximately half the width of our green wrap on each overlap. So now our green wraps over the top. I'm just gonna go ahead and tape the ends to make sure that our green wrap doesn't slide. And I'm gonna do that on both ends. So now we need to mark where our lights are. So I'll go ahead and power on our lights.
and mark on both ends. I put it just inside the lights to make sure that we load the liner on the light portion of the packer. Now we can go ahead and turn this off. And now we can actually measure how long of a patch we can perform. So one more thing, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the end here in some green wrap. And this is just so it doesn't get full of resin. After the liner's loaded on, we'll go ahead and remove this portion of the green wrap. So we already have our patch pre-cut. So now we're gonna go ahead and lubricate our packer to make it easier to slide on the liner. And now we can go ahead and load the liner onto the packer. So now we can center it according to where we have our black marks. So now we're ready to wrap the liner to the packer. We want to just make sure we're going nice and tight. So now on the ends of the liner, we're going to take some electrical tape and I'm going to wrap this tightly around two times and I'm going to snip it about half the length of the electrical tape. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. And this just helps to make sure that our liner is not gonna move on the packer. And now we're ready to pull into place, but before we do that, we have to disconnect our airline here and this electrical connection. So it allows this to spin freely and the hoses aren't gonna get tangled up. So now we have the liner wrapped to the packer tight. We're gonna take electrical tape and tape starting from the outside of the liner directly onto the packer, all the way down and back. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now our packer's fully prepped and ready to be pulled into place into the pipe. So we have a rope strung through our pipe and attached to the front end of the packer. This packer is meant to be pulled into place, not pushed into place. So now we're ready to go ahead and pull it into our pipe. As we're pulling into place, we'll make sure to lubricate as it's getting pulled in. So now we're pulled in place. Right now we're under vacuum. We're gonna turn our regulator dial down. If you're doing this directly on your compressor, that's where you're gonna turn down your regulator. So with our regulator dial turned all the way down, now we can switch to allow air into the packer. We're gonna increase this to 10 PSI. and start a timer for one minute. And this is the first step on our process chart, which we're gonna follow that. So following our process chart at 40 PSI, after one minute, you'll perform your pull test. And that's pulling on your cable to make sure that your packer's locked in place. So now we've gone through um, all of our air up process. Now we're at 70 PSI. We were at, we're, we held at 70 for one minute. Now we're ready to turn the lights on. Our lights are on and it's casting in place. And we're gonna keep our lights on for five minutes. We have our lights on. It hasn't even been five minutes yet. And where I drilled a hole, it's already hard. It's already cast in place. 
The whole process takes 10 minutes once in place. So now it's fully cast in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn our lights off and turn it on vacuum. So with our lights off, now we can go ahead and switch our valve to vacuum. It's gonna suck down. So now we can see our packer inside is sucked down and we can pull it out of the pipe. So now we just did a two inch UV patch. So now we can go ahead and inspect with our push camera.